Hello everybody, my name is Deshundrick Burt, and I'm from Oxford, Mississippi. Uh, born and raised here, 28 years. Uh, my journey hasn't always been uh, here. I ventured off into a uh, foreign land, some will call Starkville, Mississippi, where I spent two of my years in college after transferring from uh, Northwest Community College. Uh, there where I came to know the Lord. Uh, I wanna share a little background how the Lord has drawn me in to uh, um, saving me in a place of some who called a forbidden land. <laughs> uh, start off, uh, I'll say, uh, I think I was, I'll say a religious household, uh, uh, one single parent household. Uh, my mom got married uh, when I was around five years old due to the passing of my father uh, around the age of one. Uh, so there was really no relationship there, only stories that I hear, memories from family, other family members. Um, I um, would also be encouraged by my mom who will uh, share just the biblical stories with me, Sunday school uh, stories, you know, just what we all so often hear and hear in the South, uh, uh, stories about uh, Adam and Eve, uh, some of the most common stories throughout the Bible, uh, Noah's Ark, uh, Jonah and the whale as we were here. Uh, sometimes we just leave out the rest of that <laughs> book. Uh, so I will say, I began to look into the Bible through her encouragement to me, uh, just simple uh, background stories of certain Bible, biblical passages. Uh, I grew uh, zealous in studies in the Bible, but I found myself not growing closer to the Lord. Just, uh, there was a knowledge there, but no uh, godliness, I was I would say. Um, it wasn't until uh, venturing off into uh, Starkville, Mississippi in 2013 where I met uh, some friendly faces. Uh, those uh, who, who are now married, uh, Sarah Boone and Aaron Nicholson uh, on the drill field where uh, they were sharing some homemade brownies and cookies, which caught my attention. But uh, there also, I saw a sign that read John 10, 10 uh, that I, without a doubt, thought I knew exactly what it, uh, uh, what it meant. But after their explaining of that passage to me, I knew that uh, part of the, I knew that I was part of the problem and uh, seeing that God was uh, calling me to look at myself a little closely as I open his word instead of looking to gain knowledge. Uh, I was invited, that day I was invited into a Bible study, which we would call a Friday night thing, uh, where other uh, Christian believers would meet up, uh, mainly college students. Uh, we were uh, study certain passages. Uh, mainly we'll go through books chapter by chapter at a time. I remember my first time going there on a Friday night, we were doing a comparative study of the Gospels, uh, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And David, the teacher there, uh, one of the teachers there, was had a a uh, study designed for us to, well, there's a question where we had to look, look at some passages that stood out to us, uh, draw, uh, draw a diagram of some, some of the things that we found interesting throughout some of the passages throughout our comparative study. And uh, I, be, I do believe the Lord drew, was leading me to uh, John chapter four whenever he had the appointed visit with the lady at the well, the Samaritan lady at the well. Um, I say that he 
brought me to that passage for a reason uh, to show me that like that lady uh, she was hiding for something that others could not see but God pointed out to her uh, that he knew exactly who she was and knew everything about her um, that passage really touched my heart uh, broke me down um, and showed me that I was a phony and, um, that like that lady at the well that no matter how much I was covering up uh, what I thought to be a Christian in disguise at that time um, by hiding it from all of man that were looking at me lift, lifting me up on the pedestal God knew that I was uh, as low as dirt um, he showed me that I didn't have to live in a, a life of conviction and uh, a life of sin anymore but he can uh, put that out on display and that can be used as a testimony for him uh, uh, ever since I learned from that passage like the woman that rejoiced, come see a man who showed me and told me who I am. Could this be the Lord Jesus Christ? Um, he's been working in my life as well. Even after that, deliver me from that uh, shameful uh, sin. He uh, now transforming me, uh, leading me to a life full of uh, fruit and a life more abundantly as uh, that verse in John 10, 10 was explained to me by Sarah and Aaron. The Lord has really worked uh, through this uh, deliverance, uh, not only on me, but through my wife, Lashima, as she uh, has been a great help in my life. Uh, how I can learn from her, how she displays uh, acts, of, acts of love the very love of Jesus Christ. I uh, uh, do find that amazing that he can join the both of us together, uh, two different backgrounds, uh, two different people, and uh, bring us both together to uh, display his love uh, as a young couple. Right, before coming to know the Lord, uh, one of my major uh, falls was anger um, it was often pointed out by family members my mom and my grandmother especially um, felt like uh, everyone else was the problem and it wasn't me I was putting it out on everyone else blaming others um, um, God showed me that everyone is responsible and accountable for um, the sin that they uh, that they commit um, the things we sow we must uh, reap as well um, uh, one of my, the major uh, overcomers in this um, that that area of uh, sin has become His word, and uh, there's a verse that Lashima would encourage me by, uh, and my mom would often tell me before I ever came to know him was, don't let the <laughs> devil use you uh, for his purpose. Uh, right, there's a verse that my wife, Lashima, would often remind me of if I was uh, dealing with anger. Uh, the wrath of man does not produce the righteousness of God, and that's been a big help. Through this, uh, through that saving uh, and deliverance, I now see that He is still saving me uh, from a life full of sin, even in today, and how He is uh, shaping my life to transform me to look uh, like His Son Jesus Christ, and that's been uh, one of the most uh, appreciated things I see uh, and I do thank him for uh, reaching out to me uh, delivering me and um, 
thankful for how he used me as a vessel to reach out to others.